There are more than 8,000 programming languages, but only about 50 to 100 are widely used in industry, and I'm going to explain to all of them start from number 59 to 1 and bonus languages. Let's start with assembly, a low-level programming language allowing humans to give instructions to the computer's hardware. You see, computers can only do things in terms of 0 or 1, so assembly was created in order to make computer instructions more workable for human beings. This works by using an assembler that translates human-readable code into 1s and zeros. Assembly is one of the world's first programming languages, and it's used to be the standard to run supercomputers back in the day, but you still find it used currently to work with CPU memory, and it's used sometimes in browsers via WebAssembly. 58. Fortran is one of the world's first high-level languages. I make a video about it on this channel. Check the video ladder if you want to learn more. The difference between a high-level language and a low-level language. In a low-level language, you can manipulate the computer's memory much more directly. It also executes much faster than a high-level language. The drawback is that it's much harder to learn. A high-level language language is much easier to understand and there's a lot of support, but the code is much slower. Fortran was created by IBM in the 1950s. The name stands for Formula Translator. Programming in Fortran would be done by using a punch card, then would be fed into a card reader, and would be translated into code that the computer can understand. This translating process is called compiling, which basically changes the code that humans can read into the ones and zeros computers can understand. 57. Camtran, also known as Commercial Translator, is another programming language developed by IBM. It served as the business equivalent to Fortran, in which Fortran was used for scientific computing. It was influenced by another programming language called Flowmatic, a programming language for data processing that ran on this giant supercomputer called the Univac One. Number 56, Lisp, also known as Lisp Processing, was created soon after Fortran. It's known for using a lot of parentheses in its code. It was an innovative language which inspired these concepts in programming. 55 COBOL, standing for Common Business Oriented Language, was a programming language developed in 19. 59 for you guessed it businesses even though it was made so long ago it is still used today by many financial institutions to process transactions the code looks like plain english sentences but this would later be translated onto a punch card one of the first adopters of the language was the u.s department of defense 54th ibm rpg ibm report program generator is a programming language created by ibm meant to run on ibm systems it's one of the only programming languages to make use of rows and columns for its code 53rd Algol 60, short for algorithmic language. Algol 60 is not a very well-known programming language, but is one of the languages that inspired one of the most well-known programming languages in the world called C. It was also one of the first programming languages to use nested functions. 52nd APL, standing for a programming language first appeared in the 1960s, is a programming language developed for mathematical equations, mostly algebra. It uses a lot of math and Greek symbols directly in the code. 51st, Simula, a programming language made many decades ago that was one of the world's first object-oriented languages. Object-oriented programming is a way for programmers to use blocks of code that are reusable and can interact with each other instead of pure functions and logic. In object-oriented programming, use blocks of code called objects. Objects are created by things called classes, which contain properties and can use methods to explain it. Simply, you can create a class called Pokemon, name the object Charmander, give it properties such as fire type, and allow it to execute methods such as flamethrower and scratch. 50. Speakeasy a programming language that was mainly used by physicists in the 60s. It's known for using a colon underscore in its code. 49th. Basic, the beginner's all-purpose. Symbolic instruction code was created at Dartmouth in 1963. It was created with the purpose of getting the average layperson to be able to learn how to code, you see. Before that time, programming had only been the domain of scientists and mathematicians. This was because of its easy-to-understand syntax. Syntax is basically the rules to writing in a programming language. 48th. Mumps. Mumps, aka the Massachusetts General General Hospital Utility Multiprogramming System, or sometimes just M for short, was created to manage hospital laboratory information systems. It was also used to manage electronic health records. Its code tends to be very terse, which means you can take most of its word commands and abbreviate them into simple short letters. Number 47. Logo. This is an educational programming language made in the 60s, which makes use of what is known as a turtle graphic, not an actual turtle. It's the name of the cursor used to draw geometric shapes as determined by the code. 46. Pascal. A programming language that was very popular in the 70s, even being the default language for many computers back in the day. It was one of the first programming languages to be used by an IDE, which is an integrated development environment, basically a dedicated program to write its code. One of the most well-known programs created with Pascal was Photoshop. Number 45C. This is a programming language created in the 70s that is one of the most popular programming languages of all time. Created at Bell Labs, it is the basis of many operating systems such as Windows and Linux. It also inspired many pro 
programming languages that came after it, such as C++, C Sharp, Objective C, Go, Java, JavaScript, PHP, Python, and many more. It's known for its low level access to the computer's memory by using code called pointers. Computer memory was much more of a finite resource than the past, so programmers had to be much more careful about how they allocated it. Otherwise, it'll cause problems such as memory leaks, which is basically when programs use up too much memory in your computer, causing the computer to become painfully slow. 44. Smalltalk, a programming language in the 70s that was known for its object-oriented programming. It inspired many object-oriented programming languages that came after it. Next, we have Prolog, known as the first logic programming language. It is known for being modeled after formal logic in philosophy. 43rd, ML, also known as Meta Language, pioneered statically typed functional programming, which basically means giving information on certain types, such as strings, integers, floats, or booleans. Strings are just words and letters. Integers are whole numbers. Floats are real numbers, so they can be decimals. And boolean is something that can be either true or false. 42nd, SQL, also known as Structured Query Language, also called SQL, is a language used for creating and managing databases. You store information in things called tables and structure them with rows and columns. The code also looks like plain English sentences. It is used by many systems, even today, to store their data such as usernames and passwords, transactions, account information, and more. Basically, think of it as a system of Excel spreadsheets. 41st C++, an extension of the C programming language. The major difference is C++ has object-oriented programming, unlike the original C, which didn't. It's also known for its steep learning curve. C++ is one of the most important programming languages of all time, even still in wide use today, still being the main programming language in creating operating systems, web browsers, databases, and games. 40. Ada, a programming language made in the 1980s that is mainly used by the U.S. Department of Defense. It is named after the credited world's first programmer, Ada Lovelace. 39th. MATLAB, MATLAB or Matrix Library is a mathematics programming language used by data scientists and engineers. It's a mathematics-based programming language that can be used for statistics, robotics, and artificial intelligence. It's still widely used today, mainly by academia. 38th, Objective-C, a programming language inspired by C that was created in the 1980s, which became the main language for Apple computers, even being the main language for the early iPhones. Although its popularity has fallen over the years, mainly due to Apple replacing it by a newer programming language called Swift in the mid-2010s. 37th, LabVIEW, made by National Instruments in the 1980s. It is a programming language that doesn't really use traditional code. In Instead, it's a graphical programming language where you build user interfaces and handle code using images. 36. Erlang, a programming language designed for the telecom industry. WhatsApp use it to build its platform. 35th. Perl, a language that was designed to work very well with text. It's used for system administration, network programming, finance, and more. Perl has been known as the duct tape that holds the internet together. If you've ever seen the code, it actually looks pretty wacky. 34. Wolfram was created by Stephen Wolfram. It's a language that can perform data visualization image processing, mathematics, and pretty much anything you can think of. It can even tell you the shortest route around Europe. 33rd Haskell. It's a functional programming language with its unique feature of its variables being immutable, which means you can't change them. The language is based on Lambda Calculus. Number 32. Visual Basic. A programming language developed by Microsoft in the early 1990s. It's used to create Microsoft programs and applications by using GUIs or graphical user interfaces. Basically, anything you can interact with with your mouse on the screen is part of the graphical user interface. It also has a very popular IDE of the same name. Number 31, Lua, a language known for its speed and being able to be embedded into other programs. It's also known for being very easy to learn. 30, Delphi, nothing much to say about it. It's basically Pascal, but with object-oriented programming. It even comes with its own code editor, Yirmi Dokuzunchu Okamul. Okamul is a functional-based programming language like Haskell and Erlang. Functional programming languages are good at doing math, and object-oriented programming languages are good for building enterprise-level software. 28th Python. Python is a general-purpose programming language, and you can use it to make pretty much anything from desktop applications to websites creating bots or API, handling servers and databases, game development, image processing, statistics, and so much more that it would need its own video. Python is currently one of the most popular programming languages for creating AI. It's also one of the most popular programming languages in general. In fact, 
most beginner programmers start with Python as their first programming language, not only for its vast utility, but also how easy it is to learn. One of its only drawbacks is that it tends to be pretty slow compared to other programming languages like C++, 27th Ruby. Ruby is a language very similar to Python. Even the code looks similar. Ruby is easy to learn, and the code is also very readable. One of the most popular uses of Ruby is to combine it with a framework called OnRails to create websites adopting the full name Ruby on Rails. Ruby on Rails is currently the backbone to many websites we know currently, such as Hulu, Airbnb, Coinbase, Shopify, Twitch, SoundCloud, and many more. A lot of its popularity was its ability to be able to create full-stack websites. Full-stack is the combination of the front-end and the back-end. Development of a website's front-end is basically everything you can see with your eyes. Basically, the entire interface, the text, the images, the buttons, and the videos are all part of the front-end. The back-end is the non-visual part of the website, which is mainly the servers and databases. Account information, authentication, and data storage is what's part of the back-end. Dvadshyate Shiesta Java. Do you remember the thing some programs asked you to install on your computer? Yeah, that's an actual programming language. It gained popularity immediately after it's released, and it's still popular today. A big advantage that Java has is that it allows you to create programs that are very platform independent. That's because Java can be compiled into bytecode, which can be understood by many operating systems. All your computer would need is a Java runtime environment to do this, which is what you're installing every time your computer asks you to install Java. Java can be used to create many things, like video games, such as Minecraft or mobile apps on Android. A meme amongst beginner programmers is that Java's code tends to be pretty verbose. Number 25R, a programming language in which its main purpose is statistics. It's a widely popular programming language used to organize data and data visualization. It's very useful for researchers conducting epidemiological studies. If you're a researcher studying in fields such as economics, psychology, biology, and medicine, learning how to code in either Python or R is a very useful skill. Number 24, JavaScript. JavaScript is not the same as Java. In fact, it has nothing to do with Java. JavaScript is a programming language that is mainly only used in web browsers. In fact, 98% of the internet uses JavaScript. JavaScript is responsible for the main functional aspect of the website. It's based on the ECMAScript standard and is often used in conjunction with HTML and CSS. But sometimes you can create websites with just pure JavaScript using frameworks such as React. And with React Mobile, you can create mobile apps. 23. HTML and CSS. HTML and CSS are both scripting languages to create websites. HTML deals with the pure content and structure of the website. It uses code called HTML tags in order to build the content on the web page. 22. CSS is used for the design or aesthetic look of the website. It deals with the arrangement of content, colors, borders, gradients, opacity, capacities, and can even perform animations. 21st, PHP aka Personal Homepage, but sometimes also called Hypertext Preprocessor, is a programming language mainly used on web servers. You can actually embed PHP directly into HTML. PHP, although waning in popularity, is still the backbone of many major websites today. It was the language Mark Zuckerberg first built to build Facebook. 20th Action Script, a language based on JavaScript in which its main purpose was its use in Flash. Have you ever played a Flash game back in the day? that was most likely made using ActionScript. It was first created by Macromedia, which released ActionScript 1 and version 2.0. But when Macromedia was later bought out by Adobe, Adobe released ActionScript 3.0. Even though as of 2020, Adobe Flash has died out, you can still use ActionScript with Adobe Animate. Number 19, C Sharp, a programming language made in the early 2000s by Microsoft. It was influenced by C++ and Java. C Sharp's most common uses are being used in web servers with the Net Framework and Video game development with the Unity engine. Yermi Sekizinchi Scala. Scala was made as an alternative to Java. It also uses many of Java's same technologies, such as the Java Virtual Machine. But unlike Java, it has many features of functional programming. Number 17. PowerShell. Basically, the Windows command line on steroids comes with its own scripting language. 16. F Sharp. F Sharp is the sister language to C Sharp, with the difference of it being able to support functional programming. 15th. Julia. A programming language made in the early 2010s in order to perform high-level computations, data analysis and visualization, and mathematics. Its main advantage is that it's much faster than other programming languages that do this. The code is a lot easier to read, and it's much easier to learn. On Dordenju Elm, a programming language designed to create graphical user interfaces for websites, it can be compiled into JavaScript. Number 13, NIM, a programming language with the simplicity of Python combined with the memory allocation of C++. Raku, nothing much to say. It's basically Perl, but version 6, although it has a pretty wacky logo.
called Scratch, a programming language made in MIT that is completely visual and block-based. No, seriously. The code fits together like Lego blocks. It was made with the purpose for teaching children how to code despite its simplicity. You can make pretty complex things with it. Number 10, Go. Formerly known as Golang, was created at Google to be a modern version of C. The code can be similar to Python, but it's much faster due to its compiling method. It's mainly used in servers with frameworks like Docker. Number 9, Holy C. A programming language created by Terry A. Davis in 2005, made with assembly. It was used to create an operating system called Temple OS, an operating system inspired by a revelation from God. The main interest in this programming language is due to the backstory of the developer, although being a talented programmer, suffered from and ultimately succumbed from his battle with schizophrenia. Number 8. Kotlin, known as the easier form of Java, is a language used to create mobile apps on Android OS. The most popular IDE to code Kotlin in is Android Studio. TypeScript, basically JavaScript, but with static typing. Number 7. Dart is a programming language created by Google that you can use to create web applications or mobile apps using the Flutter framework. Swift was developed by Apple to replace Objective-C. It is the standard programming language to create anything in iOS, and it comes with its own code editor called Xcode. You can only code in Swift if you have an Apple computer or use a virtual machine. 5. Rust. This is the true modern version of C and C++. It's good if you want to write simple code while also handling memory issues. It's a very popular programming language, and it's used to make applications where performance is extremely important, such as game engines or operating systems. Number 4. Solidity. A programming language created for the Ethereum network. Programs created in Solidity are called smart contracts. These smart tracks are later deployed to the blockchain. However, one smart contracts are deployed to the blockchain. They cannot be changed or altered again. So before a contract is deployed, usually developers test them thoroughly beforehand. This is done using testing environments, such as Truffle and Hardhat. Depending on the smart contract, it can cost memory and even money in the form of Ethereum to work. Its main uses are for creating web 3.0 decentralized apps, decentralized finance applications, or DeFi to even your own tokens or NFTs. The type of smart contract you'll make will depend on the IRC format you're adhering to. IRC stands for Ethereum Request for Comment. Number 3. Elixir, a popular programming language that was created in Brazil. It runs on the Erlang Beam virtual machine, which compiles the language into bytecode. You can do with Elixir the same things you can do with Erlang. The language is commonly used for telecom, e-commerce, and finance. Zig is another programming language intended to be the successor of C. It was created in the mid-2010s and is slowly gaining in popularity. Microsoft Power FX, a language created in 2021 by Microsoft. It is used in a low-code program called Power Apps. A low-code program is a program that allows you to create applications with little to no code. But if you want to add extra logic or functionality to your app, it would be done using Power FX. Also, the language is based on Microsoft Excel. Be sure to share this video and subscribe to Policy Point.